thank you for this time to get together and to enjoy each other and to enjoy what Ray and Mary have found in each other. Bless this food from our bodies into your service. In Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Steve. And ladies and gentlemen, while you're standing, we're going to have the toast and we're going to ask our best man to come on over here to the microphone. Phil, come on over here and bring a drink uh, so everybody can hear you. Ladies and gentlemen, raise your glasses nice and high as we turn the... No, 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 we're going to wait here. We're not going anywhere. We're going to turn the microphone over to the best man who would like to say a few words. I would like to propose a toast to our very good friends. Mary and Ray, that their love for each other will always grow, and that their lives together will be full of happiness. Congratulations to Mary and Ray and the lights. Do you have any? Do you have anything to say? I know one thing. We're gonna boogie later. It's your turn. I'm glad you can make it from Florida. Maria's glad she can make it from Florida. She came all the way up to see you get married, Mary and Ray. Congratulations again. Talk to you. Would you turn this thing off now? Okay, Mayor. Your room is open. So I'm going to get it now. <laughs> and I just hope you have a very happy marriage and, and loving it all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Good luck. Okay, Mayor, maybe we can start lifting together at Gold's Gym. <laughs> and we'll do the, 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 body, the double body, uh, what's it called, the lifting competition. All right? <laughs> That's it. Right. Mary and Ray, I just want to uh, congratulate you. Wish you the best of luck. I hope you'll always be as happy as you are today. That's it. Okay, this is my sister Mary, the biggest girl of us all. I won't say her age, because she's a little, little older than me, Mary. This is Mary. And then we got her husband, Johnny, here. This is the golf nut. This is our golf nut, right? And then we got... Ed Cheslock. Ed Cheslock. I haven't seen him in two years. I forgot his name. Okay. okay, and I have to get my sister Annie in here. She's our sweetheart. We don't see her too much either, but we love her. And then you got my honey, honey. Oh, and we got mom here, the girl of the bride, the mother of the bride, sweetheart. Hey, can't forget my honey over there. That's my husband. That's lover boy. We call him lover boy. <laughs> she sure produced a bunch of beautiful girls. Oh, here comes my darling baby brother. My baby brother, who produced more children than anybody else, boy. He must have had a damn good time in bed, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. Mary. The best of everything always to you, dear. You deserve the best. He has so many children. Here, his grandma, the bridegroom's grandma, who would like to say a couple of words for about her nice grandson. Oh, yes, indeed. He is a wonderful grandson. Very thoughtful. 
And a very good looking boy. Oh, that I know. I saw that already. <laughs> now, does he ever bring you flowers? Yes, he does. Just last Monday he brought me a big bouquet of flowers because I live in Pennsylvania and every time he came over to see me from Jersey, he'd always bring me a big bouquet of flowers. That's sweet. That shows good passion. That's right. And this is, boy. is my daughter this Lorraine. This is his Aunt Lorraine. His aunt. This is a personal joke and I'm sure Ray Ray will remember this. He was a very hard birth. <laughs> That's what he always teases me about. Uh, I wish Mary and him a wonderful life together. Peace, hope, uh, trust and love, and I don't think they could ask for anything more. I don't think that's up to me. I think that's up to them. <laughs> can you keep up with his grand, his uh, father-in-law? He's got six. I still think that's up to him. I know that I'd like to, I'd like to say, um, say that my daughter, um, you know, would have liked to have been here, but because of her. Um, Schooling and uh, the fact that she has allergies, she couldn't be, but I know that she wishes him the same that I do um, in the many years to come. The emblem on the camera really brings to mind one major concern that I have involving the groom. Simply, that is drugs. I'm not sure that he is taking enough of them. Um, I, I really uh, have serious doubts about Ray, and I hope he comes along. He gave me this cigar. It's Antonio and Cleopatra. If, if that's the best he can come up with, I have serious doubts about him, and I, have, I really do pray for his future. Thank you. Well, I've, I've known Ray for a very, very, very long time. Too long, as a matter of fact. And uh, one thing I'll say is that what Mary sees in him, I'm not sure. But uh, he's a very lucky guy. And... Uh, I don't know if she's quite as lucky as Ray, but uh, that's. I'm going to pass this on now to Carol. Thank you very much, Bill. Um, I just like to say I'm very glad I got to meet some very nice people at this wedding, and I'm having a wonderful time. Best wishes to Ray and Mary. Always you have a very lovely life, long and happy, and lots of kids. Speechless. I'm speechless. Um, I want to say, Ray, Mary, um, I'm so happy for you. We both deserve each other, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, Ray, I'm, uh, I'm surprised you did as good as you did. No. Um, let's see. Oh, I know something's fitting here. Uh, I'm going to quote a... Uh, excerpt from a Shakespeare, it goes, uh, neither marble nor the gilded monuments of princes shall end this love, this powerful love. Something like that. Um, I think that's appropriate for closing and uh, best wishes forever. See ya! You guys are smart? I'm not gonna have retina damage, no way! Ray, these lights are like really obnoxious, you know? And uh, that's why I'm wearing the sunglasses, because I'm not going to have retina damage because of your wedding. Um, in all seriousness, Ray, I'll even take my, light, my glasses off for this, Ray. I wish you the best of happiness and a long life together. And that's it. And now if the man will turn the lights off so I can eat my dinner and not break out in a cold sweat. It's your turn, Clyde. All right. Well, I just wanted to say, uh, I knew Ray since he was this tall, didn't you? Ray was that tall? That tall. I knew him when he was a little bit of a tall. All right. Now, <laughs> I just wanted to congratulate Ray and hope he has a happy life with Mary and uh, what, better life together? Yeah, long life. Long life. Long life. That's all for me. Okay, well, uh... I'm Larry, and this is my wife, Sadie Mae. We are so happy to be here for Jack and Sonia's wedding. We wish them all the love and all the, the, the nice things that can happen to them in the years to come. We love you, Sonia. We love you, Jack. I can't add nothing to what he, he already said.
my wife Stacia and I are thrilled that we was invited. And we ain't never been to a nicer fair in our life. Right, Stacia? I love you. <laughs> Am I? Is this on now? We're going. Hi, Ray, Mary, and maybe your kids. <laughs> have a good have a good time. I hope you have a, a nice life together and all the other wishes that everybody else has already given you.